Do you have a killer prompt that you wish you could run automatically in the background? Well, now there's a new scheduled prompts feature in Copilot that lets you run a prompt on autopilot and let the responses just flow in on a schedule. Let's see how it works together. Okay, so I'm in Copilot chat and I've got this special prompt that I love to run on a regular basis. It essentially is helping me wrap up my day and plan for tomorrow. It's one of my first kind of killer prompts that I got maybe a year and a half, two years ago with Copilot. And it looks at what I did today. It looks at what's on my schedule for tomorrow. It organizes my calendar into what I have to do tomorrow puts it into categories for me, and even tells me when I should take breaks. And it's a pretty long prompt, so we're gonna go ahead and run it. So you can see that it's a pretty useful prompt. There's not a lot of information in here because this is a, a test demo tenant, but you can see that it formats everything really nicely, and I don't wanna have to type this and run it at a specific time every day. Previously, we would actually save these prompts. By clicking in the top, we could click the little uh, bookmark icon, and that would allow me to save that prompt. And then using the prompt gallery down here at the bottom, I would be able to go in, have my saved favorite prompt, and I could click it and run it manually. Now, there's the ability to actually schedule this prompt to run automatically. So once you execute a prompt the first time, you're able to hover your mouse over the prompt and you'll see a new little clock icon right here in this ribbon that pops up. That's to schedule the prompt. So we're gonna click on that and then we can see that this is the prompt we want to run and we can you know confirm that that looks good. We can choose how we want it to, to show for us. Right now, it's just going to send it to us in a co-pilot chat. Hopefully in the future, maybe it would email you or send you a Teams message or something like that. But right now, it's just gonna come back in a co-pilot chat. And then at the bottom, we select what the schedule is going to be. So by default, it's saying every day at 2.30 and it's gonna do it for the next 15 times. So you can choose how many times you want it to run between one or 15. Unfortunately, you can't let it run indefinitely. You have to like have a limit on it, but you can choose what days, how frequent you want daily, weekly, or monthly. And then you want it to start at a specific date and time. So if I want this to run every day, we'll say every day at like four o'clock PM, right? As I'm wrapping up my day, I want it to tell me about my past day, tell me what I've got going on tomorrow. And I wanna run that every day, except I don't work on Saturdays and Sundays. So let's say that I don't really want this to run on Saturday, right? And think about this, I want to, the most important part is I want it to work for the next day, right? So I generally log in on Sundays and I check what I've got going on for the week. So I'm actually gonna leave the Sunday one and I'm gonna turn off the Friday run, right? Because I don't really care what's going on the next day on Friday afternoon. I care on Sunday what I have to do for Monday. So I'm gonna do Sunday through Thursday at four o'clock every day and I'm gonna let it run the maximum amount of times. So we're just gonna click save right here. And then you can see that what it's doing is it's creating that process for us. And it'll say creating and then initializing. And then it will show right here on the side that it is active. Now that can run in the background. I can go ahead and close this. And you might be wondering like, how do I get back to the scheduled prompts? How do I see what is out there scheduled for me? Well, if you go up to the top corner and you click the dot, dot, dots in the upper right hand corner, you'll see that you have a new section here for scheduled prompts. And that just brings up that exact same uh, section right here where my next run of this prompt is later on today. This is me testing this out. And I can click the dot, dot, dots. I can click run now. I can turn it off so I can keep it, but just disable it or I can delete it altogether. So that's how you would actually like, you know, adjust and, and turn off specific prompts. So I'm gonna delete the one that I created later on. And once that's deleted, you'll see I only have one version of this and it's gonna start running tomorrow 
on my schedule. Now, unfortunately, you can't edit the schedule. You would have to go back in, run the prompt, click the schedule button, and then set a new schedule and clean up the old one. So there's a little bit of maturing there as far as editing. That's a little bit of space for Microsoft to uh, make things better. But today you can create it, you can turn it off, and you can delete it. Now, what does it look like whenever this actually runs? I did a test a little bit earlier today, and you can see that I've got this little green check mark in my Copilot chat. That is Copilot notifying me, letting me know that my prompt ran automatically. So I've noticed this earlier though, whenever you you have things collapsed and say this is the default view for Copilot, it's got this little red dot. That is an unread notification. So if I click on that, it tells me this was an automatic prompt and it's ready for me. I can open that up and then there's that prompt from earlier today. I think I had set it to run at like 2.30 or something. But that is uh, that scheduled prompt. And tomorrow, I'll have a brand new chat with a little green dot letting me know that that scheduled prompt has run successfully again. So really, that's pretty much it. I hope you found this guide to scheduled prompts in Copilot helpful. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you won't miss any updates from my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.